The heaven on the earth cradled in the lap of mighty Himalayas. Lush green meadows, majestic rivers, the place of magnificent chinar trees. The beautiful Nishat, Shali Mark, Kokar Nag, Very Nag, Gul Mark, Sun Mark up in the north. The place of beautiful sceneries. The place of Santur and the world's famous Pashmina Shawl. Kashmir is the most beautiful place on the earth. Once a Mughal Emperor Jahangir said, If there is paradise anywhere on earth, it is here, it is here, it is here. But this land of captivating natural beauty has suffered a lot since the partition of India and Pakistan in 1947. It has sacrificed its innocent people. It's been crime since ages, bleeding for freedom, being a victim of tyranny, being an unresolved or death dispute on the death of the United Nations. This paradise on the earth has turned into bloodshed and graveyard. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, Kashmir issue is a major nuclear flashpoint between three nuclear powers, Pakistan, India, and China. Pakistan and India have fought three major wars of 1948, 1965, and 1971, including Karagal War as well, of which the first two were fought over Kashmir. The people of Jammu and Kashmir have been granted their right of self-determination under the relevant UN Resolution of 1949, according to which the question of accession of Jammu and Kashmir to Pakistan or India will be decided through a free plebiscite. side. But India is reluctant to grant Kashmir is their right of self-determination. The Kashmiris are humiliated, tortured, injured, jailed and killed by the Indian troops that have almost shot up to 700,000. According to local media services and human rights organizations estimates total killing since 1989 to 2017. More than 100,000 Muslims have been killed. More than 70,078 custodial killings. More than 1,007,740 buildings have been demolished. More than 1,007,603 innocent children have been orphaned. More than 70,000 youth has been killed. More than 40,000 has been injured and jailed. And more than 20,000 is missing. Following the martyrdom of militant commander Burhan Bani, more than 15,000 people got injured due to pellet gun shots in their eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, it hurts a lot when it comes to the use of pellet gun there. Even the wicked enemy Israel has not used this gun against Palestine. But in Kashmir, the Kashmiris are directly subjected to killings by the use of pellet gun shots and chemical weapons. A 2010 U.S. State Department report cited that extrajudicial executions are the major and worst human rights violations in Indian occupied Kashmir. A state human rights inquiry in 2011 has confirmed that there are over 6,000 unmarked graves identified in Indian occupied Kashmir. And due to the impact of these violations, a number of people in the valley are suffering from, from psychological problems. But unfortunately, these tales of barbarism of Kashmir have never been highlighted by international media. The national media never shows a true picture of it, rather they will show you only 1% of it. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, do you all see what Indians are doing to people in Kashmir? I ask if this so-called world's law, just democracy, India claims Kashmir to its integral part. Then why they are killing thousands of innocent Kashmiris there? Then why there is bloodshed in I OK? Then why is Burhan Bani becoming the revolutionary figure in Kashmir? Then why a PhD's final year student Manan Bani joined freedom movement? Why do Kashmiris pro Pakistan? Why did Jawaharlal Nehru himself take this dispute to the death of United Nations? Why do Kashmiris don't want to live with India? These are the questions to be hardly answered by Indian government and international community should exert pressure on Indian government to honor its commitment with the United Nations. The United States, Great Britain, China, Russia and all superpowers should play their role by exposing the actual face of Indian government that how India is committing human rights violations to avoid the political solution of this dispute. My Lord, isn't it a double standard policy? When it comes to draw for the West, the UN shows its claws and beaks by an active military involvement there. But the question is, why they are silent on Kashmir dispute which they themselves have recognized as an international dispute? Mr. President, 
ladies and gentlemen, just think for a while. How would you feel if your husband left to go for something and he never came back? How would you feel if your daughter is short with pellet guns in her eyes and she becomes blind for the rest of her life? How would you feel if your sister is raped by the forces occupying your place? How would you feel if you couldn't go outside with the risk of death and being murdered? This is what's happening in Kashmir right now, and this is a serious crime against humanity. International community should understand that Kashmir is not a territorial dispute. It's a human problem involving over 15 million Kashmiri Muslims. It has become an international controversy where the victims and martyrs of Kashmir are waiting for their role. Thank you so much.